everyone, Jackie Ding here and welcome to beautiful VIR, lovely sunny day. And we got two very special cars for you. We got a stock-ish Toyota Supra 2020 versus a stock-ish Corvette C8 Stingray. Uh, unfortunately, uh, due to my poor driving records, I've not been allowed to drive this one. But uh, somebody who is very qualified is, may I introduce to you, fried chicken enthusiast, Grid Life Street GT champion, Kobe Shield. What's up, man? How, How you doing? What are you doing? So, this is how this is gonna go. You're gonna be in that. I'm gonna be in this. We're gonna go on the racetrack and see which one is faster. Good? Good. Good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Just to be clear, he's a driving instructor here at Kaizen Autosports. Yep, correct. And he's really, really good at VIR. And this is like my first time running full course. Yep. And he is a Chevy diehard. Correct. So this is, it's definitely, the engine's in a different place, but I think it'll still be pretty similar. Predictions? Any predictions for results? Um, I think the C8 will have it, but I'm interested to see how close it's actually going to be. So we'll just have to see how close they are. And we're off. Let's see how this goes. The Corvette versus the Supra. Come on. So this is my first time driving the C8. Um, it's a little bit different from a Camaro as it's a mid engine. So it is a GM product though. So. He ran away what felt like two seconds. Damn. It went pretty good. Jackie was kind of fell off once the straightaways came. And it looks like the scene is just that much faster on the straight. And we're off for the second lap. I'm following Jackie this time, so we'll see how this goes. Go, 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 come on!
little too late. That's, yeah, that's... Ah! Well, Toby, I, I let the super fans down, big time, uh, with my, uh, what was it? Amateur driving. <laughs> Yeah. It was just a little detour on yeah. 10. That's all it was. Detour. Just a little detour. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, friends. But uh, it was pretty clear. Uh, the Supra, even though the first, first run, we we're pretty on it. But uh, see, it just has the legs on corner exit. My God. It yeah, pulls. it does, for sure. That's definitely the strong suit. I feel like the, the lower corner speed stuff, it definitely pushes. But the corner exit's the strong suit on this car. And the transmission's phenomenal. So it, yeah. it, the corner exit's crazy. Because you yeah. can just put the power down and it pulls out of the corner. And but I feel like... Your mid corner speed's much better in that. Potentially, yeah. And I just think it's probably the bigger front tires and, and the balance is, is yeah. pretty darn good in that. Yeah, I think the balance definitely helps. Mm -hmm. But uh, this thing is about 100 horsepower up on this. Yeah. And it's about, what, 1.5 seconds quicker? Yeah, it's about 1.5 seconds quicker. And don't forget, this is the non-aero version. So yeah. um, I'm sure the aero version's a little bit faster than that, yeah. obviously. But. So say we have a car that's also non-version, non-aero, uh -huh. yeah. but with a similar amount of horsepower. Okay. Just in the Supra. Say we do it. What What if, what if we do a this? Uh -oh. Well then everybody, stay tuned for part two. See you next time. Let's do it. I will take you.